Oh, oh shit. Welcome to another edition of the Mike on the Mic podcast, and this video is literally how I woke up this morning. Uh, my friend sent it to me, and I know it's kind of fucked up to laugh, because, um, you know, a little girl got railed by a fucking buffalo, but, dude, <laughs> it it's I'm laughing because it's like, why are you even close to a buffalo, and why are you filming it? It's just such a large, and like, why put yourself in that danger? And it's also funny to see just the, the two people just get up and run and basically leave a little girl, and that girl just gets wailed. Holy shit. That's, that was a good way to wake up this morning. So just a few different things I want to talk about today. Uh, first of all, I kind of had a new, I got a new setup kind of thing. I moved the table back a little bit for those listening, uh, not really paying attention, but I moved the, this middle table to the wall. I threw up two of my signs, my shut up and grind sign and my fart zone sign. I actually got a new poster, the Church of Horror, so it's it's a replica. It's replicated after the uh, the Last Supper, but it's all horror movie characters because scary movies are my favorite movies, and uh, I saw it at Spencer's. It was kind of a must buy, so I bought that, and then I have like three more on the way. So I mean, I'm happy, and then I'll set up the rest of this wall, and then it'll just be Halloween all year long. So I really wanted to make this podcast more about. Um, a different podcast that I listen to, which is the Church of What's Happening Now. And Joey Diaz, who's a comedian, uh, this was like a few a few days ago. It was just him and Lee, and they were talking about comedy and just, um, they talked about a lot of different shit, but just their journey and uh, something that stood out to me that I do kind of a lot sometimes, well, I do it a decent amount of time, especially this past like two years. Uh, it's just setting expectations way too high and that's something that I do and it's good to be ambitious it's good to be to have like big goals but just too many of us are setting expectations and setting goals way too high that are due tomorrow and it's not realistic you can't you can't set an unrealistic goal and expect it to be done by tomorrow because when it's not done which is usually what happens you're gonna feel like a failure you're gonna be pissed off that you're going to be pissed over yourself, and you're just going to be pissed off in general because you didn't accomplish something. And uh, many people do that, and then the issue with that is people exp uh, set expectations way too high, and then they quit. And that's an issue that I had was, you know, I, I try to do things as fast as I can without really processing how long it's going to take. So I listened to that, I, I thought about it, and I'm, I'm kind of already doing it, but I'm kind of pumping the brakes a little bit on basically everything, even making videos and all that just to, you know, get into a groove and a nice flow. And the only, I don't even have a uh, goal set up, like life goals and like five to 10 year goals, because this shit takes time. And I necessarily don't know what I want to, where I want to be in 10 years. But I know when I do, I'm going to write it down and I'm going to basically put it on my wall and I'm going to look at it every day and remind myself that, you know, these are what I want to accomplish in my life. I don't have big life goals right now. I'm, I'm taking every day for what it is, kind of, and just, I'm worried about one thing at a time right now. It's the summer. I'm working, uh, you know, my, my bullshit school job, which actually sucks because we've been actually doing shit this year. Last year, we didn't really do dick, so. This, this summer, I'm mainly just focusing on my health and, uh, you know, just improving my health every day, whether that's mental or physical health, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually doing it the way it's supposed to be. I'm not trying to rush it. I'm not trying to lose an excessive amount of weight in a short amount of time. I'm just letting this process roll. I'm losing about uh, about a half a pound a day. I've lost about six or seven pounds since about two and a half weeks ago, almost three weeks ago. So it's going good. Workouts are going really good. And uh, I'm following kind of my old strength program. I shouldn't get stronger, but I feel pretty strong right now. And I'm at a good pace right now. And in the long run, I guess a long-term goal I want to have is basically beat out all my maxes that I had during football. Uh, so I want over a 340, a 340, 355 bench, a 485 deadlift on a on a straight bar. My hex bar is like 550, but I don't like hex bar, so that I'll probably never do hex bar again. And then a a 440-pound squat. So those are my goals to beat, but 
I know that's going to take time. I'm more of just getting back into serious lifting. And that's why I made the video the other day about, you know, should I lose weight completely or just lose weight a little bit and then bulk up to like get stronger. But uh, it makes more sense to just lose all the weight first and then kind of fuck around my weight a little bit because then I can, then I can really do what I want and really get, you know, as strong as I want because if I lose 60 pounds, then I can actually do a 20 pound bulk and then go fucking crazy and see what happens. But it's just something that really stood out to me it was just, you know, reach for the sky and like reach for the stars or whatever, but be realistic at the same time. And that's, a, that's something that I had, hadn't done in a while. I set goals, big, big goals every day that were basically due by the end of the week. And then I didn't even touch them because I knew they were too big to even bother. And then it made me feel more like shit, which is why I went down this roller coaster ride of just shit and just, it didn't end well. And that's why I was in the position that I was in because just, you know, you lose confidence once you fail all the time and you feel like shit. So it's just something that, want it shitty and you don't want to feel like a failure so set little things like little goals that you can accomplish that are real and just do it so that's something that stood out to me it's an hour and almost a half podcast it's really good but uh just that alone really really stood out to me and uh another thing that stands out to me is instagram and something that really pissed me off today was you know i'm in a group chat with my friends on instagram and we send a lot of bad things to each other but uh something caught my attention and it was this instagram star i don't remember the name i'll find it as i'm talking but it annoys me that girls or just i guess girls in general whatever what pissed me off was this girl basically posted a naked picture on instagram and has two million followers and uh you know all this likes and all that shit and Instagram banned me for posting a, a video of a guy getting knocked out, and that annoyed the shit out of me. I was put in Instagram jail because I wasn't, I was technically copywriting UFC, but I understand it was a pay-per-view, but people were posting on their stories, everybody was posting on their stories, but I just wanted to post it to post. I didn't claim it was mine. I didn't say, you know, I'm somebody in this video, and watch this video because I made it, and I'm making money off it. It's not that big of a... I don't... I just don't understand. I understand that it was a pay-per-view. My friend was telling me that. But at the same time, I was, I was talking about fair use, and he said, well, it's a pay-per-view, so you have to pay to see it. But it's not like I posted the whole event. It's not like I posted... I pretended it was mine or made money off it. It just... I just wanted to show you guys a sick fucking knockout. And that... It just... I don't know why today of all, all days, like, there's girls that post naked shit all the time, but today just... It just pissed me off. Because it's like, where where are the standards? Where's the policy? Where I'm getting banned for... I was banned for like a week for posting a video of a guy getting knocked out. These girls are pretty much naked posting porn on Instagram. And nothing. They get praised for it. They get paid for it. I saw an article today on Snapchat. This girl makes $300,000 a year posting her ass on fucking Instagram. That's so dumb. And it's annoying, I guess. You know, get it how you get it, how you can get it. But it's like, where's the... Where's the censorship? Where's the where is the line and why aren't certain why are certain things getting uh, taken away and others aren't? I just don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. But that's just something that really pissed me off. I don't know why it bothered me, but it did. But then you know, I saw that Buffalo video on Facebook, uh, not on Facebook. My friend said it to me on Instagram, and that was really funny. To conclude all this, I'm not going to make this podcast long. I don't really want it to be that long. I don't want it to be long for a while because I don't think it, I should be posting, you know, hour long podcasts because why, like, who's going to listen to somebody they don't know unless you're like more established. Don't shoot for the stars too much. You know, set, set yourself in grounded goals that you can actually achieve. And, you know, don't think like I used to where, you know, I wanted to own a business or run my own business starting tomorrow where without any planning or anything, just I'm going to start this shit tomorrow and I'm going to start making money. And uh, it's, it's stupid because you, I understand ambition. I get ambition. I'm ambitious too. But, you know, let's, let's cut, stop the bullshit. Let's be realistic. We got we to gotta be better. We, me, me, of course, included. Me, of course. But we as a team got to be 
better and just set real goals that we can fucking accomplish and start moving rocks, start moving the world because that's what we got to do. And, uh, you know, I'm doing this every day. You know, I have certain goals I want to hit. Uh, my, my whole thing with the goals right now is all really more about weight, uh, my own weight, and then just what I'm, what I'm working out in the gym. You know, this whole process of, of achieving these little goals uh, really started with once I started uh, listening to Jocko. And uh, I don't listen to him every day. I don't really have to anymore, to be honest, because he's the one that kind of got me going. And now I'm in my own groove where I don't even have to worry about, you know, listening to or doing something or drinking something to wake me up, to get my ass in there. Sometimes I do, but, you know, can't be perfect every day. But it was this video, the motivational video that I posted in my last my last video, it's in the it's in the bio. The link is in the bio. It's like a motivational video of just him talking, and he talked about getting better as a campaign. And what I'm calling this like little journey myself is my get better campaign. So if you like it, hop on it. You know, use the hashtag, tag me in it, do whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to better myself and get fucking strong, and just look better. And because everybody wants to look better. So if you're on Instagram. Tag me. I'm private right now, but I'm about to make it unprivate. So, tag me. Use the hashtag. Get use two hashtags. Fuck it. The Get Better campaign and the Getting Better campaign. And um, so I can see them. I can like it, and we can interact better. Because uh, you know, I I liked it a lot, and it kind of it stuck with me. So I think about it every day, and that's kind of the campaign that I'm using. And don't forget the Get Better campaign. Basically, that's gonna be it for today. Um, I should make another video tomorrow but uh, we'll see about that but we know I know what I want to do in terms of myself I just want to take care of myself first this summer before I really start anything else and then once I go to school again you know I'm gonna be in class once or twice a week and then I gotta find an internship so we'll see what happens with that I'll keep you guys updated on that and um, if you're listening thanks for listening and uh, it's gonna be a fun time I really got a better at ending shows because this isn't this isn't going well for me right now and I want to end this because I want to shower and lay down. So thank you for listening to the Mom Mike of the Mike podcast. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you have any suggestions, please comment below. Uh, if there's anything you are interested in talking about or anyone interested in listening, listening, anyone interested in joining, let me know. Reach out to me. Follow me on Instagram, the Mike Sanchez underscore, and follow me on Twitter, the Mike Sanchez underscore. Add me on Snapchat, Mikey.Sanchez6. And uh, let's get after it, people. Thanks for listening. Peace.